Good morning, wonderful people. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Let me just adjust here. I think we're doing, I think we're good. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna go have brunch with one of my friends this morning after I run a couple errands. So I figured I would jump on and do a quick like get ready with me with a couple of products uh, from Bear Shop that I've been enjoying. And there'll be some other products like kind of mixed in here too, but there'll be some specific ones I'm gonna show you guys. So I've already got my brows on. Um, my hair looks a little gray because I have some dry shampoo up in there, but let's get started. I did all my skincare already. Um, I'm making a little cup of tea here as well too, so it's like a, a true get ready with me type moment. So let's get started. And the first product, yes. First product I'm gonna apply is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Typically $34, you can get it on the live stream for $28. 90. This is a vegan and cruelty free sunscreen and it has a matte finish, which is why they call it unseen. Um, I don't find that it adds like a lot of a glow, but like that's not so much what I'm looking for. So an SPF of 40. And I am going to be applying a tinted moisturizer, but that tinted moisturizer only has an SPF of 20. So I want to make sure to, uh, Add a little bit more sun protection and then put it down my neck. And so this is, like I mentioned, cruelty free. It's also reef safe, which is pretty nice. And I like Super Group. If you are not a fan of matte sunscreens, I would definitely recommend getting their glow screen. Give me a second, I'm gonna throw my tea bag away. Okay, back. <laughs> um, if you're not a fan of matte sunscreens, I would definitely recommend taking a look at their glow screen. They also have a body glow screen as well, too. That's really nice. Um, I just like made myself like a nice little cup of tea to start the day. So it was really early. Daylight savings kind of kicked my butt. Okay, so I got my sunscreen on. It gives me like a nice mattified base. So that's good to go. And then for my actual like color base today, I'm going to use the Pure 4-in-1 Tinted Moisturizer. Let's make sure it shows it on screen. Okay, cool. Typically $35, $29.75. There's so much product in here. I have the shade LG2, which would be light golden too. And when it comes to these, I'm going to shake this because it's been a little bit since I've used it. I have like a full purple outfit going on today. Like I have my purple shoes. I'm kind of insane. So I'm all about the purple today. Okay, we give that a nice shake. This is a little lighter than my skin tone, but because it is a, um, because it is a tinted moisturizer, the coverage isn't all that much. So it's, it's really not like a big deal. And I just like to put this like all over my face. I don't, because I have long nails, which I'm actually going to get one fixed after this, I don't like to put this the products like on my fingers, if that makes sense. Because they get stuck under my nails. Kind of makes me crazy. Okay, let's start there. And then I'm just going to use like, uh, this is just like a Sephora um, foundation brush. I have some other brushes we're going to talk about in a minute, but this one I'm just going to use too. Blend that in. My skin has been behaving lately, so I haven't needed a whole lot of coverage, just like covering up some redness. I just recently got dye sport in my forehead. I'm trying to be a little bit careful on my forehead. It's not like sensitive or anything, but it's my first time, so. Okay, let's get this side all blended in. I really don't think that that shade is that bad for me. Like it's a little bit light, but I think that it works. I uh, typically have a neutral skin tone. Uh, 
All right. Really light coverage. As you can see, I do have some spots over here that you can still see, but that's okay. I'm not really, I'm not going for anything like heavy today, so it's fine. Let's work around these brows that I already did. Okay, beautiful. Got that on. Next is going to be concealer. Um, this is a non bare shop product. I'm just going to throw some concealer under my eyes really quick. Just a touch. And then I'm going to blend that in um, with this little concealer brush. And I'm going to wait to apply any powder. Get all up in there. So just a nice little touch. I have some bags under my eyes. I haven't been sleeping super well, so. Um, just add a little bit of concealer there. Woo! Okay, awesome. Next. We're going to use this, um, actually, no, I think I might, let me use this blush next from OG Cosmetic, OG Luxury Organics. Oops. Okay. This is their Sculpted Face Stick. They have a bunch of different shades. The shade I have here is Rose Quartz. It's really beautiful. Um, typically, I would probably like just apply it to my face, but... I haven't really used this before, so um, I'm gonna actually apply it to a brush first, just so I know like what the coverage is like. I don't like to apply things to my face that I don't exactly know how it's gonna turn out and how pigmented it is. So let's go ahead and just, oh, that's really pretty. Okay, I definitely think the brush was the right move because I can like really like diffuse it out. Okay, let's do the other side. Super pretty, so no blush, blush. This has a really nice heavy component as well. I can tell you guys a little bit about this too. So they call this like, you know, the perfect appearance of a no makeup makeup look. It does have a hydrating blend of essential fatty acids and oils. And it looks, sounds like they use green coffee oil to stimulate collagen boost, tree resin to refine the appearance of pores, and tapioca powder to smooth the skin. I don't know about you guys, but I like a very blushy look. And I find by the time I finish doing my makeup, a lot of the times the blush I applied has faded. So I'll go in, put on quite a lot of blush, and then I will um, add more at the end. So we might come back and do this again. Cute, I love that. My husband's always like, why are you so pink on your face? I'm like, because I wanna be. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, loving that. That's rose quartz. From OG. I love the little components so nice too. It's got like a little metallic, uh, metallic, magnetic click onto it, which is really nice. Okay, let's do a little bit of powder and I'm gonna jump in and start using this Young Blood uh, Minerals, Young Blood Mineral Cosmetics Jet Set 5 piece. So I get this button to go. Okay. So this is a really nice little set. It's usually $176, you get a crazy deal, $80.75, and you get five different brushes, and they are all synthetic. Nice little travel case as well, too. So, let's start off with a little bit of powder, and this is the nice big powder brush for these, and I'm just going to toss just a touch of powder onto my face. I'm really just going to, like, use whatever was in the lid of my powder container. Oh my god, this brush! is so nice wow it's like super soft as you kind of expect with synthetic brushes but 
that's amazing. And so if you guys didn't know, if you ever like over apply a product, just take a little bit of a transition powder and tap it over that and that'll kind of help make it less um, intense. It's called veiling. I learned that from watching way too much YouTube. Okay. See, like the blush is already kind of going down. I'll definitely have to like apply a little bit more of that. But that feels really nice. Love that. So a couple more brushes in here we're definitely going to use. I think now we'll probably jump into doing eyes. I don't want to do anything too crazy on my eyes today, but it's kind of been a minute since I've done anything. So let's go for like a little, should we do a purple eye look to match our purple outfit? I think we should do a purple eye look to match a purple outfit. I'm gonna grab my purple palette. Okay, so I'm gonna use the, it's like an Anastasia palette, but we're gonna go in with these Youngblood brushes. Can you tell how much love this thing has gotten? It's kind of a mess. But I think since we're doing like a whole purple vibe today, we're gonna go in with purple um, for our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use what do they call this? This is the YB8, which they call a tapered blending brush. They say this is good for adding to um, transition change to the crease. I'm pretty much just going to do an all purple, like just purple in the crease, and then I'll do a winged liner after that. So I'm going to tap in. Really nice brush. Like, I really like the way that it feels. It's like got like a soft touch matte finish. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that purple to the eye. I'm really just going to build it up in my crease. All purple vibes this morning. It's actually really nice. The, the shadow itself is nice too, but the brush adds a really nice amount of product to the face and does a nice job blending it out. My eyes are like two different shapes. I don't know if you guys ever deal with that. But like sometimes I have a hard time applying eyeshadow to like one eye versus the other because they are. One of my eyes is a little bit more hooded than my other eye. Makes me kind of crazy. And with like eyeshadow, like this has come down too far. I'm just going to clean it up later. Like I really don't. I'm really like not too pressed about it. But I think... That looks like cute as the just little transition shade there. Okay, next I'm gonna take uh, this is what brush is this? It's the YB9, which they call a shader brush. It's for packing eyeshadow onto the lid. So I'm gonna take like a nice, um, it's just the color in here called base, but I'm gonna mix that with a color called Dreamer. It's a little bit more shiny and just like add that to the lid to give a little bit of a shine. And the star of the show is probably really just going to be the eyeliner. But I thought I would, like, really take this whole, like, purple theme I've got going on and, like, commit to it, you know? Okay. I'm going to go back in with that YB8. Um, and I'm going to kind of clean it off so there's nothing on it. And I'm just going to blend everything together. Same on this side. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's probably the extent of what I'm going to do for eyeshadow at the moment. I'm going to clean up this corner right here with just a touch of concealer. Stick that there. Stick a little bit here, too. These mini concealers are so great for that. I'm a big fan. Okay. And I'm just going to take my same concealer brush and just blend that away to kind of make that line a little smoother. Beautiful. All right. Cool. Really, really, really simple on the eyes, but that's okay. We are going to use this eyeliner now, which is the Wonder 2 Superstay Liquid Eyeliner. It's this gorgeous, like, chocolatey metallic color. I'm a really big fan. And let's see, do I have my little like info thing about this? Oh, please. 
Let me pull it up because I used this the other day and I was like very, very impressed with it. Let me pull up the little what shade it is. So they call this shade Glazed Chocolate and it is a felt tip liner. I have a little bit more trouble with felt tip liners, but it is smudge proof. It's very um, pigmented as well too. So I'm going to start off, you can see it's got like a nice tapered tip here. I'm going to start off by lining my eye. And then I'll do the wing. Hopefully you guys can see. I like these because you can just really like put it on the, like stamp it on the lid almost to line. I kind of give up all like black makeup to be honest with you, like, except for mascara, but, like, I feel like brown can look so much more natural. Not, like, natural, but, like, less harsh sometimes. Okay, let's do the other eye. Okay. I just feel like felt tips kind of can sometimes like wear out a little faster. But this one's a great deal. Thirteen fifty six during the live stream. Uh, usually it's like fifteen ninety five, which is kind of a middle of the ground. Uh, I feel like price. Okay, now we're gonna do the wing, which can be a struggle, but we're gonna make it happen. I'm looking in a mirror behind the phone, so let's see if I can do this. Well, that ain't bad. Oh, that turned out pretty nice. I always do a wing. It's like my, my husband's like, do you always like to do that Egyptian look? And I'm like, yeah, I do like to do a cat eye. That's for sure. Okay, let's do the other side. Not as good on that side for sure. And again, this eye, my eye is hooded on this side, so it's a little harder sometimes. But I think that turned out really nice. You can see there's a little bit of a sparkle in there. Cute. Okay, I'm a big fan of this. Um, I would like to get more colors. I do think it's like a nice you know, liquid eyeliner, even if it's like not my favorite type of tip, it works really, really well. Okay. Next, let's do our faux freckles. So I've been using the Pseudo Lab freckles kit in shade three for a couple of years now. Um, there are a few ways you can apply it. They personally recommend holding the applicator up and then like flicking it on your face, but it gets everywhere when I do that. And um, it gets on my contacts and then it won't come off because it's waterproof. So I personally like to use a very fine tip brush. So I'm going to use this like really, really fine tip brush right here. Sometimes I'll even pull out my freck and I'll just use the applicator for that. I'm going to get a little bit of product on the brush. And I'm just going to like kind of randomly... Add some freckles and then I like to go in and do a stamp. So I stamp here and then I can add some of those freckles to the other parts of the face and also keep them looking a little more natural because freckles aren't like uniform and like big, they're pretty small usually, so. And like I mentioned, this product is waterproof. So if you like get caught in the rain, you don't really need to like worry about your freckles melting off or anything like that or if you're I live in Texas it gets so hot and I don't have to worry about like I've never sweat off my freckles before thank goodness because that would be so embarrassing I always get so nervous on like the center ones because I want them to look like natural but it's also like difficult to make them look natural okay Out here I go a little darker. 
a little bit more. Like, I also do have my own personal natural freckles, moles technically. So I'll kind of stamp on those a bit. I think that looks really cute. I almost feel like you can't see them on the live stream camera, but that's because they look super natural in person, which is always the goal. And if you do one that you like don't like, it's very easy to just like, you can just like stamp it away or like wipe it with like a little Q-tip and it'll go away. Well, oh, see like that, like that's not gonna work for me. So I just wipe it and it's gone. I like to put some up here because I feel like people have freckles. They don't just have them like over their nose. They have them like all over their face. So let's get, do some stamping here. Patting them so they look a little more natural. Cute. Okay, I'm very happy with that look. So I think that's where we're going to stop with the freckles for now. Love this. It does come in three different shades, so you can get a shade that works for you. I got the darkest shade because I think they were out of stock of the lighter shades at the time. Okay, and then the last product that we are going to put on is going to be this uh, Vapor Beauty Mascara. And it's called the Mesmerize Mascara. It is a clean mascara. They say that it lengthens, defines, and builds fluttery lashes and has untamed botanicals in it. So I'm going to curl my lashes. Where's my little curl? And then I'm going to apply this. Do you guys curl your lashes like I didn't? I used to not curl my lashes for like the longest time. And then I realized it makes like such a big difference. So always good to have a clean mascara. A lot of mascaras I recently found out have a lot of microplastics in them. And a microplastic is a piece of plastic, a particle of plastic that's so small that it washes down the drain and then it washes through the water treatment system. It's so small that they can't get it out and it goes directly into the ocean and then it harms the wildlife in the ocean. So it's always really good to try and look for products that don't have those microplastics in them. Probably also not good for us to be putting on our skin as well, to be honest. But I try to be as sustainable as I can, but sometimes I think it's, it, they don't make it easy on us. Okay, I like to go on with a second coat. I take a lot of time on mascara because I really want to make sure that I get like all the lashes. Okay, love that. Let's do the bottom. And I, I never like put the wand back in to do the bottom lashes. I really just wanna use like what's left on the wand so that it doesn't transfer. Beautiful. Okay, amazing. I think we're almost done. Oh, I haven't drank any of my tea that I made because I've been so busy doing makeup, so. All right. I'm going to kind of judge my hair a little bit. Give it a little bit of a, a brush. Oh my god, my brush is purple too. Like, it's an addiction, I swear. Actually, I didn't do the brush on purpose. It just happened that way. 
I'm trying to brush out some of this dry shampoo. I've been trying out a bunch of new hair products recently, so been, I need to probably wash my hair a little more frequently at the moment. All right. Wonderful. Cool. Got my makeup on already. Let's put some stuff away. And then I think the only thing I really need now is like a little bit of a lip gloss, which we're not going to do a purple one. Um, I'm just going to grab this Bobbi Brown Crush Liquid Lip Gloss. It's uh, in the color Free Spirit. Just... Really nice, like natural, like my lips type look. Um, and you know what? I might add a little more of our blush stick that we were using earlier. So I feel like I was saying earlier, like sometimes the blush like comes off while you're, I just feel like it fades really fast. So add a little bit more blush. Just to pink up the cheeks. And it'll make the freckles look more natural too. And the nose. Beautiful, I think I'm ready to go. And you know what, I gotta head out the door to brunch. So thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I'll definitely be doing some more lives next month after Thanksgiving uh, with just some different makeup tutorials and talking about like probably some home and fashion stuff as well too. So feel free to join me. Follow me on Instagram if you have any questions about products or anything like that. Always happy to help a girl out or a boy. Mostly girls. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Happy Thanksgiving.